Magandang araw mga kababayan. Ngayong araw, magluluto tayo ng steak at mashed potato. Ito ang aking go-to na ulam or meal ng mga bata kapag ka late na ka natapos sa trabaho. Here's our ingredients ang ating steak. I'm using boneless bottom blade steak on this. You can use any cut ng steak. And then salt, pepper, honey, and soy sauce. This is um, a very easy recipe. This is that part of the day when the kids are asking for their meal and then you'll say 20 minutes. Okay, so we'll season our steak with salt and pepper. As you know and as we all know, beef is is already very flavorful. Kaya hindi nito ma kailangan ng maraming kuskus balungos. Simpleng asin lang at paminta, season lang natin ang both sides. So, don't season it too much with salt kasi maalat din yung gagamitin nating sauce. The sauce that we will use is very simple too. Let's set aside the steak and let's put together our sauce. So, here's our honey and then just add the soy sauce. I use low sodium soy sauce on this. Kasi nga, sobrang alat kapag kayong regular nating soy sauce. You can still use that, but the regular soy sauce, but I would suggest you dilute it with water and then just stir it till it's properly blended. And then, we will prepare yung ding side ng ating kakainin. So, I have here potatoes. I'm just using here the reset potatoes. Um, gagayatin lang natin siya ng maliliit kasi nga nagmamadali tayo para madaling lumambot we'll add water just enough to cover yung ating patatas and then ready na tong pakuluin so we'll leave it there cover it and let it boil while on a skillet with hot oil ipipirito naman natin ang ating steak it's up to you how you want your steak to turn out. Siyempre, yung iba, they want medium rare or they want well done or we will prepare this one just kind of in the middle, medium well. So, when you're preparing it this way, yung hindi siya masyadong lutong-luto at hindi rin siya hilaw na hilaw, you should take each side for two minutes. So, ipipirito lang natin ng 2 minutes ang bawat side. Pero sabi ko nga sa inyo, nasa inyo yun kung paano nyo gusto ang wellness ng inyong beef or ng inyong steak. So, tatakluban ko lang siya and then after 2 minutes, I'll flip it just like this. Cover it for another minute and then now it's ready for the sauce. Ilalagay lang natin ang ating sauce. Pagkatapos, we'll bump up our heat to high. And then, let it boil. Huwag nyo nang tatakluban at this point kasi masyado nang maluluto. So, pabayaan nyo lang siyang kumulo. And then, turn it one more time. Again, let it boil for another 30 seconds after you turn it. As you can see, the sauce is already thickening. And then, we can remove it from the heat. So, lagay lang natin sa isang plato. Now, let's deal with our mash. This has boiled for at least 10 minutes. Pero titingnan nyo rin ang tenderness ng inyong patatas kasi may mga patatas na mas madaling lumambot or mas matagal ng konti. I set aside a little bit of the starchy water in case madra yung ating mashed while we're making it. So, inalis ko yung most of the water. Nag-leave lang ako ng konting water at the bottom as you can see. And then, from here, ilalagay na natin ang pampasarap ng ating mashed potato. So, lalagyan natin ng butter. Kung, if you want to use margarine, which is usually what we use sa Pilipinas, that works too. And then, ito is sour cream. Then, we will season it again with salt and dash of pepper. And then, from here, imamash na lang natin. We will just mash it with a potato masher o kaya naman, if you don't have a masher, like how I always say it, pwedeng tinidor na lang. 
kagaya nito. So, pag sasamasamahin na lang natin ng maayos, make sure yung ating flavoring or seasoning is properly distributed sa ating mashed potato. If you, this is the time for you to uh, taste it and then adjust it if you feel like kailangan pa ng konting moisture or kailangan pa ng konting seasoning. And then again, um, haluin na lang hanggang hindi nyo na nakikita ang separation ng different ingredients. Now, this is our steak. Try to always cut your steak against the grain para mas madaling nguyain at mas ma-enjoy nyo yung pagkain. This one, I cut it smaller para talagang ready na lang siyang kainin ng mga bata. But you can always serve it as a whole. So, um, ganito yung itsura niya. And then, if you want it to look even better, hiwain lang natin yung nasa tabi para ganito na yung itsura niya. Now, our steak and mash is ready. Kain tayo! Here's the list of our ingredients. Hopefully, you enjoyed this video because this is something that I actually prepare like almost every week for my kids and they really love it. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Until next time.